Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew has urged voters not to risk rocking the fundamentals that have helped build Singapore. He says there is always a risk as one generation passes the baton that the next team may toss out what they have inherited. In a statement released today, Mr Lee also urged Singaporeans to vote for candidates with proven character and track records. Average is about... Mr Lee described some of the 24 new PAP candidates introduced so far as heavyweights who will form the fourth generation of leadership to take Singapore forward into the 2030s. So, he said when citizens cast their votes on May 7th, they will decide not only their future, but that of their children and grandchildren. Mr Lee said his generation of leaders had laid the foundations for Singapore and he pointed to the hot issue of housing. In 1965, he said the government decided that Singapore must become a property-owning democracy. Hence, the government acquired land at the bottom of the market when investors thought Singapore would not survive separation from Malaysia. The government also allowed the CPF to be expanded for property ownership and established the HDB. So today, young couples can look forward to new homes well below market price. And after five years of living in their flats, they can sell their homes at a premium. Mr Lee added this was accomplished through the willingness of the first generation of citizens to put up with hardships. He asked voters to consider how a house in Singapore is worth 10 to 20 times the price of that same house built in Indonesia or 5 to 10 times of a similar one in Malaysia. He said all this did not happen by chance or autopilot. His team had planned for it. Mr Lee called on Singaporeans not to rock this foundation. And he was blunt on the possibility of the country being on autopilot such that any team can just take over. Mr Lee felt Singapore will never reach such a point saying we're not living in Disney World. On another hot-button issue, cost of living, Mr Lee acknowledged it is a problem. But he added the government is helping Singaporeans cope with the grow and share package. He also reminded citizens that external factors are pushing prices up. But Singaporeans too are enjoying a higher standard of living. Well, it looks like MM Lee's Tanjong Paga GRC is unlikely to see a contest after all. The opposition team planning to run in the GRC says it now cannot because of a shortage of funds and a last-minute withdrawal of support by the Singapore Democratic Alliance for two contesting candidates. The team members were Ng Teng Siong, Mohammad Nazim Suki, Ng Pian Ying, Lim Mi and Abdullah Salam. They say it is too late to find replacement candidates and expressed disappointment, saying, I quote, this GRC is supposed to be the best chance for them to contest. And for more, let's cross to reporter May Wong, who has just attended a news conference by the Singapore Democratic Alliance. May, what's the word from SDA on the last minute withdrawal of their candidates for Tanjong Paga GRC? Well, that's right, William. I just stepped out from that building over there where the news conference was held. In fact, the Singapore Democratic official line is that they're saying that this news release was actually unknown to them. They did not know that the news release was being given out and they said that it was actually based on one individual who sent out the news release. So this was not a Singapore Democratic Alliance news release. So they are saying that there is no disunity in the party whatsoever, but they are saying that they're respecting the decisions of such individuals. In addition to that, it's quite interesting to know because in the story you just mentioned earlier, Nazim Zuki comes under the banner of the Singapore Democratic Alliance and he was supposed to contest in Red and Mass single member constituency. All right now the situation is the Singapore Democratic Alliance is saying they are not planning to contest in Red and Mass single member constituency. They are dropping that idea and also they are not planning to contest in the Sengkang West single member constituency anymore. And their reason for that, they just don't want to have a three-cornered fight.